everyone, it's Marietta with the Consumer Action Handbook, and I'm here to answer some questions from you, consumer questions, that may be able to help you in your daily life. We got so many questions from people after our Google Hangout, and we want to just keep answering questions that you may have. So with that said, let's just jump right in. First question comes to us from a young lady. She's a recent college graduate. She's in graduate school right now, and she says that she's interested in buying a house, but she's a little concerned because she lives in a very expensive area, the D.C. metro area, which is a very expensive area. And then also she has student loan debt, and she's in graduate school right now, which is going to increase the amount of student loan debt she has, and she just really is concerned about how she can make this dream a reality. So I can definitely relate to this situation as a young professional living in the D.C. area. I also can relate to, you know, the expensive, you know, how expensive it is here and just that desire to be able to buy a home. I have friends back in the Midwest who bought lovely and fabulous homes and I don't know when that's going to be a possibility for me, but I try to keep this in mind and hope she will too, that it's a marathon, not a sprint. You don't have to buy a house, you know, right away and we want to make certain that we not just buy a house but able to keep our house. And that involves, you know, having some reserve funds for emergencies, for being able to make payments on other things, utilities, um, taxes for property, and just things like that. So even though she's not making a down payment today, there are things you can do every day to help get that goal become a reality. Um, and I just want to share a few of them with you. First one I would suggest is to save regularly. Um, it's so tempting to want to buy, you know, the new fabulous pair of shoes or take every vacation with your friends, but knowing that you need to take care of yourself and your savings first is a priority, is a crucial thing in this whole marathon of buying a house. And so yes, you should definitely have some money, you know, budgeted for fun things and activities with friends and family, but make certain that you're making saving a priority in your financial um, portfolio. Um, and if you need help on knowing how to save, particularly for young adults, there are some resources available on mycreditunion.gov for young adults. They're specifically geared to what our savings um, goals are and things that we're facing. Another area, place that you can go, is publications.usa.gov. And there's tons of government money and saving and investing resources there that you can order or download. So that's one step, save regularly. Another is pay your bills on time. You'd be amazed how important that is as you're trying to apply for mortgages down the line. It helps determine like what sort of interest rates you can get, what sort of programs you're eligible for, and showing that you are a responsible creditor, that you pay your bills on time, that you can manage your debt is crucial when lenders are looking to determine if they're going to give you a mortgage loan. So I would suggest that you pay regularly on your credit and all your bills. The third thing I would suggest is look into repayment plans for your student loans. Um, she mentioned that she's a federal employee and the Office of Personal Management offers a repayment plan for people who are federal employees so that their student loans can be reduced and that is a significant uh, lift, out your mind, lift off your mind if you know that you don't have to pay everything back out of your pocket for student loans. It's, there's some help available and maybe you're not a federal employee. There's still other programs available if you're a public servant, um, police and teachers. They often have, um, sometimes have within their cities or states or jurisdictions, there are similar programs for repayment of loans. And then some companies actually do student loan repayment programs. So take heart on that and that, that may be a possibility too. So I would just say just keep the faith, stay encouraged, keep working hard and you know, finish graduate school. Don't really worry about this from the day to day, but just do the things, all these things together to help you be on the path so that you're able to buy a house and enjoy it and not worry. So thanks for your question. If you have questions, we'd love to hear from you. We're still taking them and answering questions as you can see. So you can write us, you can email us, or you can tweet us at using the hashtag AskMarietta. Thanks.